First, get your clips ready. Choose the clip you want to apply the mask transition on. Once selected, duplicate it using Ctrl-D. Right-click on the duplicated clip, go to Time, and click Freeze Frame. Now, move the frozen layer a few frames ahead based on your preference. Once positioned, split the frozen layer right when your main clip starts and delete the remaining part of that frozen section. Set the resolution to full. Select the pen tool and zoom into your composition. Carefully outline the object you want to mask. In my case, I'm masking the VIP's mask, so I'll be tracing the outline of that specifically. Make sure you stick to the exact borders. If you go off too far inside or outside, the mask transition won't match cleanly. Once the mask is complete, select the masked layer and press M twice to open the mask properties. Set the mask feather value between 10 to 15 for a smoother edge. Duplicate the mask layer. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Fill. Apply it to the duplicated layer and change the color to white. Now zoom into your timeline, move one frame forward, split the layer and delete the rest. This adds a subtle flash to enhance the effect. Now that everything is set, pre-compose both the masked layers together and also pre-compose your main layer. Next, press Ctrl-Alt-Y to create an adjustment layer. Position it as needed. Head to the Effects and Presets panel, search for S underscore Shake, and apply it. If you don't have this plugin, you can get it from my Discord. Link is in the description. Click on the stopwatch next to Amplitude and Frequency to create keyframes. Set both values to zero. Now, go to the start of the mask layer. Set Amplitude to 0.3 and Frequency to 5. Go to the end of the adjustment layer and set both values back to zero. Let's see a preview. You can already notice the difference. It's much better. Duplicate the adjustment layer. Press U to reveal the keyframes and align the middle of those keyframes with the start of your main clip. This ensures the shake matches perfectly with the transition. Let's move on to the next clips and repeat the process the same way. After adding zooms, here's how it looks. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. And all the plugins and tools I used in this video are available on my Discord. Link is in the description.